Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off on Spoon Isle. Trying to figure out how to make this fake version of the turtle artifact. Um, we're a little bit stuck. We keep ending up with the molten gold solidifying. Uh, I've come up with a couple of ideas that I hope might work. And we're going to try a couple of them today. Uh, if we can find the actual barbecue, that is. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a trouble, this puzzle, so far. Um, and remember, guys, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Uh, where the hell is the barbecue? Is it this way? No, it must be up. How have I managed to get lost? Uh, down here, was it? Yeah, there we go. So, I had a couple of ideas. The first one is that perhaps we've got to... Ow! Even the controls are too hot to touch now. That we've perhaps got to use an item in it. Let's try this again. Maybe this wasn't all we needed. Because we just can't seem to get to that screen without it solidifying. Um, so, I was going to see if I could combine something to make it stay molten. Uh, the ring? No, I'm guessing it won't let us use the artifacts. No. Okay, that pretty much ruins that idea. Um, the other idea I had was that we need to get the stuff to the... What's the word I'm looking for? We need to get it to the barbecue, right? And I was thinking, oh, I think it's solidified, yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe we could take it to the top of the cliff and drop it off the edge. Because that would be the only other way of accessing... Ow! Even the controls are too hot to... That'd be the only other way of accessing the... Let's try this the again. The little idle thing. Where we got the original artifact from. So that is literally the only other thing I can think of. So if this doesn't work, then I honestly have no idea what we've got to do. <laughs> but we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, I think this is the way to the cliff top. Okay, so far so good. It's still there. So, can we do anything to the cliff edge? Boy, that's a long way down. I can see the broken altar down there. Guess I'm gonna put it on top of it instead of the other way around. Right, I reckon we've got to pour it from here. Over the edge you go. Bullseye. Wow, I didn't actually think it would go directly in, but apparently it does. I mean, in a game where a lot of the things are, I would say, reasonably unbelievable. Surely pouring that in from up there is possibly the most unbelievable thing about the Monkey Island games. I mean, that is some serious aim. Has it worked? It looks like it's in there. sea turtle artifact made from fool's gold. Yeah. Okay. So can we pry it out? I've got no reason to pry that. Yes, you have. Oh, okay. We've got to do the artifact. Hey, not bad. Good enough to fool the undiscerning pirate eye, anyway. Okay, um... Do we just give it to LeChuck, then? Or do we give it to the pirates? Just to get them away from the area. Um, let's try giving it to LeChuck, I guess. Where were they? They were to the right of the barbecue, weren't they? Oh, I keep going the wrong way there. I should know the way by now. <laughs> Done it enough times. Also, I've got a bit of a like, cold or something coming on, I think, so... 
Uh, right. Let's get the fake one. Do we give it to these guys? Hey, look! Over here! A completely real golden sea turtle artifact! That's impossible! I saw this guy take the artifact! Right, we okay, we've got to give it to the chuck. He hands it over, or we take it from him. Man, these guys are a tough sell. I'm glad I went into pirating instead of becoming a traveling salesman like my guidance counselor suggested. <laughs> traveling salesman. I mean, that would have made him friends with Stan, probably. Hey guys, look! He's got the summoning artifact right here! Wow, well, just hook it on there. Men. Arr, let me at him! You will never! Ever hit! Give it here! Give it here! I got him! Ouch! Hold him down! I'll take you all on! <laughs> I got it! Ooh, that looks painful. You're... <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to take on armies without blinking an eye. Now a handful of pox-stricken pirates can wrestle away the artifact? Ah, don't beat yourself up, LeChuck. These guys did a good enough job. Besides, that turtle artifact <laughs> I took was a fake. I still have the real one, nice and safe. Good thinking, lad. Where'd you learn to pull off a trick like that? That? Oh, I've been doing that kind of thing for years. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of famous for it. <laughs> I bet you are, boy. Now, you said Elaine had something she wanted you to tell me. Uh, Elaine wants you to save the Merleader. I'll be a distraction while you get to be a hero. That you're better than me in every way. Elaine told me she wants you to go out to the beach and use the cannon to provide a distraction for the blockade while I sail out and rescue the Merleader. Really? Are you sure that's so what changed she the said? plan? Positive. We're buddies now, right? I wouldn't lie to you. Ha! Huh, I suppose you're right, Guybrush. I'll get right on it. Good luck, lad! Jerk. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, so we've got to go... We've got to sail there now, then. He's going to keep firing the cannon. Uh, right, do we just leave on the raft? Guessing we do. So, does that mean we go to the Screaming Narwhal? Uh, is there even a, a way to get to this Screaming Narwhal? Screen Narwhal, Spinnacade, Blockade, Blockade, Row Island, Blockade. Uh, do we go to Spinnacade then? I'm guessing maybe yes. Let's see. Uh, okay. Didn't Winslow take the ship away, though? Yeah, he did. Where did he take it? Do we just have to go out to the blockade? Oh, okay. They're still firing. Maybe we just go to the blockade. Hmm, looks like I might be able to sneak through the blockade here. Uh, okay. Ha -ha! See if you can handle this, boys. <laughs> They're shooting at me. Why are they shooting at me? Is this going to be really dangerous? Ha! This must be the weak point in the blockade. Now all I need to do is quietly sail through and ah! Oh no. If it ain't a little pirate with a fancy coat, what smells like bacon? <laughs> bacon? <laughs> hey, what? who's shooting at me? <laughs> Hoist your colours, you mangy sea dogs! Not one of you has the guts to sail out here and face me! Elaine! You're lucky I'm stuck in this blockade, you saucy female! Right, sail me <laughs> shit right up God. here! <laughs> uh... I mean, can we do anything? Looks like that ship's adequately distracted. Uh, okay, say that's a screaming narwhal. Oh, there we go. Suckers. It was nice chatting with you again, but I've got a merleader to save. Bye. Where'd he go? Did you let him through? Me? If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy over here. Shoot oh, that worked. Shooting a far-off island ain't exactly what I'd call busy, you stippling spud scraper. They're arguing again. 
<laughs> I love those two. They're great characters, actually. Good to see you again, Captain Threepwood. I knew you'd find a way past the blockade. Surely you have a wondrous story to share about the ordeal. Good to see you too, Mr. Winslow. Always. But there's no time for stories now. We gotta take down McGillicuddy and save the Merleader. Fantastic, sir. Just point out his location on the map, and we'll be on our way. Okay. Let's uh, point out the location on the map, then. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Uh, where is his location? Oh, McGillicuddy's ship. There we go. Uh... Let's go right on to McGillicuddy's ship. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me the Let's take this guy out. Words, or I'll plunge you into the icy blue. I will not let you summon the legendary sea creatures. <laughs> you will not have a Sponja Grande. Fine. Let's see how long it takes you to drown with your head submerged in the sea. <laughs> She's a sea creature. It'll be a while. I can breathe underwater too, you know. Don't tell me <laughs> what I know, you oversized anchovy. I don't need to know stuff. I've got the pox. Lowering ah, yes. The pox logic. Lowering the murder. Captain McGillicuddy. Prepare to be boarded and surrender the fish man. I don't <laughs> think so, boy. The chieftain is going to tell me exactly where to find the artifacts so I can get to a sponger grande or end up as seagull pickings among the rocks when I run aground. Don't worry about me. The captain has lost his ability to reason. He thinks he's going to drown me. A mer person. You must keep the summoning artifacts safe, Guybrush! Oh great, tell him I've got them. Threepwood! Then you're the one who stopped my men with this accursed cheap imitation summoning artifact! It's me, no. Guybrush Threepwood! <laughs> uh oh. It's still talking. The day you cross past Brilliant. Me, boy. Rue? Ha! I really gotta look up that one. <laughs> I'll deal with you later, Stinkwood. Uh, I think old Finface here wants another dip in a drink. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Uh, That's where okay. I sleep anyway. Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom here? of the ocean. Oh, that'd be we just great. fire the cannon, I need to pick up a few things for dinner. Prepare to meet your maker, McGillicuddy. Oh. Wow, nice shot. Uh, can we talk to him? Yo, Captain. Why do you keep bothering me? I'm sure the sponge is big enough for all of us. Look, I'm sure the sponge is big enough for all of us. Let the Merleader go, I'll get the sponge, come back and cure us all. <laughs> we ain't looking for a cure, boy. We want to destroy the sponge of Grande forever. Of course you what? do. Listen here, fish breath. Me and my men have been running the sweet trade on these waters for decades. We've suffered everything from scurvy to man-eating shark attacks, but we have <laughs> never seen anything like this box. It rots our flesh, melts our teeth, and makes our eyeballs bleed. It's turned us into terrifyingly hideous monsters of the sea, and life has never been better! <laughs> Okay. Be serious. Hi, we like being this way. The box makes us fearsome and powerful, and we'll make us rich. It's what every pirate strives to become, Guy Brush. And I won't leave that cursed sea sponge out there just waiting to take that away. Uh, you're mad. You're mad. Mad, I say. Not a sponge of grande <laughs> is a weapon against the evolution of piracy. I must find oh, no. it. I must destroy it. They've lost you it. Must give it to me. Nice try, boy. Okay, um, the poxes on my rear look better than your face. The poxes on my rear look better than your face. How dare you insult me? Oh, is it going to be an insult game? The mask. Good riddance, Freakwood. <laughs> oh, what? I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. 
You'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicuddy's oh, ship. Oh, what? I know. I'll use the map. So we've got to get the mast repaired. Well, we know where let's to do that, here, I guess. Uh, okay, let's go back to... Uh, Jerkbait Islands. The Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Which friends? Literally the Chuck and Elaine against all those ships. Oh, well, at least it's back to being nice and peaceful here then. Uh, should we go up to the shop? Let's go up to the shop and get a new mast. We'll see if we can go and take McGillicuddy on again. Did we choose the wrong option or something? Guessing maybe we did. Because he shot the mast. Seems like if you insult him then, then he just fires at you. Me again. Lovely singing. Oh, um, what can I get you? Need my mast repaired again. I need my mast repaired. Again. Again? Wow, twice in one day. Yeah, well, yep. I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down McGillicuddy, but that guy is cannon happy. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. Okay. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. Uh, we talked These about that, didn't on we? Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest oh, yeah, that was it. She said they were, they were heavy. Okay. I think I'm good. See you See later, ya. then. Don't be a stranger. Right, we've got a new mast. Let's get back to McGillicuddy. And we'll take this guy down once and for all. Hopefully. Uh, okay, back out to where he was, I guess. Here we go. Right, let's walk the plank in reverse. Okay, Mr. Winslow, Prepare to set sail, Mr. Set Winslow. sail once again for the ship. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. Shovel, Here we scruffy. go. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where yeah, I sleep right. anyway. Tell me, or up. Right, so he blocks that. Hey, ugly. Uh, let Beluga go. I have all the summoning items. Let Beluga go. I have all the summoning items. Good. Then I'll know where to find them after the Merleader tells me the ceremonial witch your words. I'll never tell you. Either yeah. you'll spill your guts, or I will. But you, you won't get the words then. You suck. My assessment of your cannon operating skills, not to mention your personal appearance, odor, and intelligence, is that you are unmistakably inferior in each of those criteria. That really hurt my feelings. Black and buffer. <laughs> oh, he's broken it again. You know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't. But I feel <laughs> it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my little ah. piece of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. <sighs> Get the map. Wonder if he can tell us any more about that. Mr. Winslow. Hi, Captain. Uh, what should we do about the mast? Here we go. What should we do about the mast? It'll need repairs, of course. I'm thinking of going for a different color this time. What do you think? <laughs> Light oak. Or anything other than drab pow, really. Yeah, I hate the palm. Um, got any tactical any suggestions? Tactical suggestions for taking down McGillicuddy? Well, the best solution would be if he sank his own vessel. You weren't a tactician on your previous ship, were you? Oh, no, sir. Okay, I uh, think the murder leader is going to be okay. You think the murder leader is okay? Seems fine. As long as McGillicuddy thinks drowning is an effective torture, the murder leader is perfectly safe. Well, he seems to think so. Keep up the good work, then. Aye, aye, sir. So how are we going to reinforce the mast? Maybe we go and have a Let's look at the trees. Here, Mr. 
Uh, let's go to the Jerkbait Set Islands. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Right, okay. Um, no, I didn't want to come to spin a K. I wanted to go to Spoon Isle. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Impossible. Huh? We need huh? our mast repaired before we can set out to sea again. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Let's get the mast repaired. But then is this going to just... I don't know. Repair it in the same way? How comes we were able to sail back here? But we can't sail out to Spoon Isle, which is like literally just across that little tiny area of water. It's kind of weird. Right, can you please fix my mast? But do it really well this time. What can I get you? I need it repaired again. I'm back. I'm on it. All set. Thanks. Okay. I think I'm good. See ya. I wonder if we have to do something to the trees. Because she uses those trees on Spoon Isle, doesn't she? Because she said they're too heavy to pick up. So perhaps we have to go to Spoon Isle and do something to the trees. Let's go and have a look. Okay, let's walk the plank again. This time, Winslow, I would like you to go to... Do you know what? I'm being stupid, aren't I? We have to use the raft. Right, let's use the raft to go to Spoon Isle. Okay, Spoon Isle, here we come. I wonder if LeChuck's still there. Oh no, he's gone now. Right, here's the trees. Scrap lumber. It's a pile of fallen trees. Is that literally it? Can we not use anything on it or something? I've got no reason to pry that. Uh, hook it. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Okay. Uh, what about the fish eggs? That's not a good way to use fish bait. Okay. Hmm. I think it only works on merfolk clamshell thingies. It doesn't look like we can do anything to the wood. How the hell are we gonna get reinforced mast then? Huh. I honestly don't know. Uh, let's jump back on the raft. Perhaps we've got to go... I don't think there's anything on Row Island. I don't know. We'll have to have a think about that one. Because we're um, a little bit stuck again. Perhaps there's some other trees or something we can use. I don't know. I'll have to have a little bit of a think between episodes. Um, so we will leave it there. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.